Well, folks, enjoying an awesome trip up here with uh, some friends and family. And I took with me on this backpacking trip, the Sawyer water bottle. Kind of a crappy place to, to have lunch, you know. Now the cool thing with this is not only is it, you know, a self-sustaining water bottle, but it has a filter as well. So as you can see, we're behind an awesome pond that we're hanging out at, a little lake, and without having to deal with bags and pouches and dunking it in over and over again and doing all that type of stuff, I can just dunk this into the lake or stream, scoop up my dirty water, throw this guy in, start drinking. And I love that kind of quick usage for particularly backpacking and day hiking. So with that guys, we're gonna take a look here at this bottle today, show you pros, show you cons, and just talk through this Sawyer water bottle filter and see what it has to offer. So let's go ahead and just run you through the basic, you know, setup of this water filter. It's not, you know, super crazy in the sense of what what it's offering, um, but it is a fantastic performer. Sometimes the simplest, easiest concepts work the best, and that I believe is true here with this Sawyer. Now, the first thing is that empty, it is going to weigh 5.5 ounces, so a very lightweight system for a water filter, which is great. Now, the overall capacity is 34 ounces, and what we found is when you scoop up your water, and you know that's as simple as it is. You take out the, you take off the lid. You've got your filter uh, on the attached to the lid and you just take your bottle it's uh what is it bpa free you scoop it up and then you just drop your filter in screw the top on you're ready to start drinking uh, what we found is if you fill it up to the joint right here that's where it will not overflow then you drop it in and it'll fill up to the top if you go all the way to the top with your dirty water you're going to have a lot of overflow on your hands and just th things to think about with that so just consider that just go right up here to the neck joint and i actually like that neck joint because on a lot of water bottle uh, sleeves and backpacks that's like the perfect size and you can kind of cinch it down and it'll really hold your water bottle nice and secure which is awesome so those are a few of the aspects of the exterior you know it's a squeezable bottle and the flow is fantastic now my dad had a very similar system about 10 years ago i can't remember the company and i think they put the filter inside like a squeezable nalgene bottle or something like that but it just was not great it just didn't really uh get the job done in the sense of the flow you had to really squeeze that thing you really had to put some effort into it you can just suck all day on this without even having to squeeze and you'll get your water very easily through and if you squeeze then it's basically launching into your mouth which is awesome so i really like that aspect of this sawyer water filter so when it comes to actual specs of the filter itself this is a hollow fiber filter it is made in the usa which is really cool you know, I was actually shocked when I saw that. I was like, wow, that's awesome. And to come in at the price point that we're going to be discussing, uh, very impressive uh, for a USA-made product. This will filter out 99.999999% of all bacteria. So we're talking about protozoas, E. coli, Giardia, um, you know, uh, that type of stuff, um, cholera, some of those type of um, bacteria-based, anything that you would find in any backcountry here in the U.S., and most... Uh, fresh water sources around the world. Now it will not take out viruses, so that is something to consider. So if you are in really a bad third world, you know, a backed up water, maybe in, you know, infected with sewage, um, you know, that type of stuff, this will not filter out those type of things, and you could absolutely get sick. So just take that into consideration. But any fresh water source that may have just gotten some contamination, uh, it'll be great. Now on top of that, this bad boy is gonna be able to filter 100,000 gallons. Think, think if you go through a gallon of water a day, which would be a good amount per person, and you could survive on much less, that's 100,000 days. I mean, that is ridiculous for uh, the price, for the materials, for everything that we're getting. I mean, very, very impressive, and I really like that aspect of it a lot, that it can clean that much, and as long as you take care of the thing, basically will last you a lifetime of hiking, camping, and backpacking, and even in a survival situation could last you for years without any sort of issue. 
And this bad boy will come with the bottle itself, the filter, the cap, and this is a 63 millimeter cap, the hollow filter, the backwash syringe, and it has instructions on how to take care of this, maintain it, backwash it, that's all you really gotta do. Two replacement drinking straws, that's the little uh, attachment on the head on the tip, uh, and the instruction manual itself. So I mean, it's got everything that you would need to not only to maintain, how to maintain, and how to take care of this, as well as some replacement pieces and parts. So the price on this guy is going to run you about $35. I'll have links in the description below over to Amazon. That's always a great way that you can help support the channel if you are interested and you like this design. And when you talk about the mini Sawyer system that is available, you can usually pick that up for about $20, but that only comes with the little pouch and then the filter. So this eliminates a lot of just the hassle. So if you see a $15 you know, extra price to eliminate a lot of the hassle and give you a, a self-contained water system like this, then also Awesome. If not, then those pouches, the Sawyer pouches with just the filter itself is going to be the better deal for you. I have one of each so that if I need to process a lot of water, I'll use the pouch. If I just need a, just enough for like this day hike, like we're on uh, the backpacking that we were doing, walking along the river, then this is great and it's really quick and you don't have to take 10 minutes to filter the water. So those are the pros and cons based off of the price. So guys, I also bought uh, one of these water bottles. They've been around actually longer than even I think than our filter systems. Yeah. They've been a long, a long, long time. time. You had your bottle, so I was like, I had to get one of those for the trip. You just scoop water in and use it, and I've loved it. Um, yeah, uh, I guess the times are kind of tough at Sawyer because they had a, a shorter hose on mine. <laughs> I had to actually add a piece of it all the way to the bottom of the bottle. It came with it, but, came you, with had to, it. but you had to add it. It was a little goofy Yeah, it was and for, for back on me to do it. So right. anyways, but I love it. It's amazing. Yeah, so the, this is a fantastic quick way to get filtered water if you know you're going to be around water and you're on the go. So guys, thank you as always for checking out the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear your thoughts. And as always, remember, stay equipped. Stay prepared. And we'll see you out there. Ha, ha, ha.